<laughs> hey there, Facebook and YouTubers. This is Jeremy with 1UP Retro. So in a previous video, we created a NES shell replacement cartridge, Raspberry Pi Zero. Today what I'm going to do is show you how to cut uh, and get perfect corners on labels for any reproduction label. So I like to do it one way. It works the best for me, but we're going to go through a couple of different ways in making a label. And uh, why don't we go ahead and get started now. So we'll see you back. Welcome back, guys. So the first way we're going to show you how to cut a uh, new label is with a paper cutter. Now, this is not my way that I usually do it. I do it a different way, but uh, what you're going to want to do is lay your paper in. And um, the only reason I don't like this is because if you're off just a little bit with your drawing um, or your design and you cut, you're going to cut way too far to one side or the other. And I'm probably going to do that here. And if you notice, on this paper, you'll have the black line on the outside. Now I cut it exactly to the width that it would be for the cart. So that little bit that I cut off is actually going to affect uh, how it fits on the cart. I did that on purpose just to kind of show you. Um, so, and then when you have the opposite side, when you're cutting, you can run into the same problem, especially if they don't line up. Now, this side is off on the white. So coming back in with the paper cutter is going to be a little more difficult because now you're trying to match up the lines with your paper and you don't want to cut all those off accidentally. Now what we've got to do is try to line this up so that we don't cut too much of the other side off and just get rid of that little hairline of white down the side. So even using that, it's still not going to work. So this next technique is my favorite. This is the way that I do all of my reproduction labels. So one of the first things that I ever do before I start a project, um, at least cutting, once my label has been printed, I use a full sheet lamination, and this separates here, and I use a glossy uh, sticker paper. So this is basically sticky photo paper. And what I'll do is I will take the full sheet, peel it, and then I just lay it slowly over the top of whatever I'm working on. And so what will happen is that sticky paper is just going to lay right over top of that photo paper. And then I'll take a cloth, um, usually microfiber, and I'll press it into the photo paper and the laminate, and it makes a nice shine, and it also gives it that look of an NES label. And you can feel imperfections that's pretty smooth. So, um, so when you're done, it gives it a nice shine and a deep black uh, on the blacks. Actually, it, it brings in all the color, so not just the blacks, but the blacks look really deep. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Uh, what I like to use when I do my labels, uh, this, is, this is the best way that I've found for myself, is I use a ruler and a leather fabric razor. Uh, this is a round one. It makes it so much easier for cutting and the uh, obviously the ruler is for keeping a straight edge. We'll just cut it right here in the middle to get this piece out of the way and then we'll just work with the top three. It is a little bit tricky to figure out your ruler. Um, I know pretty much how my um, blade is going to cut once I get it on there, and um, so I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> and then this, 
you can get it lined right up with that outside edge and do the same thing. And um, so that one actually I might have to take a little bit more off, but uh, we'll get this out of the way because we only need one. And then once I get it on that side, we'll just flip it around and I can get right on that with this razor and it'll just take it right off. So there we go. And now we'll do the bottom and that one will be cut out. It might take a little bit longer than using the paper cutter, but you can get more accurate lines and you don't have to worry about white lines or tearing the paper. Um, whoops. Um, so that's what that's going to look like there. What I'd like to show you now is this is how I get my corners round. Um, I believe this is a five millimeter um, round corner maker. Uh, this costs $38, I believe, but it's well worth it. So this, this one here, um, this one is the one that we used the um, paper cutter on, and then I trimmed it a little bit. But what you'll, what you'll do is there's a little notch in here, and you'll slide your uh, label right into that. And once you push that, it's going to cut going to cut a little round in that corner. Now this one is the laminated uh, label that we used and we cut with our um, roller and now we're going to put the corners on it and round them just as easily as we did the other Actually, leave that the same too. So now we've got perfectly round corners on our label. So now we're back and we're ready to put our label on our cartridge. And so what I'll do is I'll either line it up at the bottom and fold it over, or I'll line it up at the top just so that I can make sure that everything is lined up the way it's supposed to and ready to go. So what I'll do here is get it to a point where I can kind of visually see that it's equal on all sides. And I'll just kind of bend that around and get it lined up. So if you see that, then we just kind of fold it in half here. And now we have our label ready to stick on our shell. And now we'll just take the sticker protector from the label off the back. I have zero fingernails, which makes it tough. So now we just kind of eyeball where we want it. And gradually work it in to place. And it might be a little bit off, but I think it looks really good. Um, probably took 20 minutes to do um, the design of the label. Uh, and then I just made multiple labels using Photoshop. And uh, the end result is pretty good looking retro pie cart. Hey guys, well, that's it. Pretty simple, straightforward. Really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we have more videos coming, a lot more tutorials, a lot more stuff that we've got coming out. So if you have any questions, you can comment below or you can get a hold of us at oneupretro.com as well as our Facebook page at facebook forward slash oneupretro. And as always guys, game on.